A LOCAL PARTNERSHIP IS POURING MILLIONS INTO IMPROVING THE BEHAVIORAL AND MENTAL HEALTH OF OUR CHILDREN. TWO NEWS REPORTER KELLY KING SHOWS US WHAT'S WORKING IN DAYTON. OVER THE LAST SIX YEARS, THE DAYTON CHILDREN SAYS NUMBERS HAVE DOUBLED, EVEN TRIPLED FOR BEHAVIORAL HEALTH SERVICES. THAT'S WHY THEY SAY THIS INVESTMENT IS SO IMPORTANT AS THEY HOPE TO CREATE AN INNOVATIVE MODEL FOR CARE. Times have changed for our young people. They're exposed to so much more. Putting it mildly, this generation has much more to worry about. Our children are in crisis, and their mental health struggles have only been exacerbated by the COVID 19 pandemic. Many are also still recovering from the tragic events of 2019 both the tornadoes and the violence in the Oregon district. Yet doctors say traditional care focuses on the physical, but believe children need more than that. According to the CDC, one in five children will need care for a mental illness. Suicide is the second leading cause of death for those between the ages of 10 to 24. Dayton Children's says it's seen a 300% spike in children coming in because parents are afraid they're going to hurt themselves or others. The reality is that children and families deal with all of these issues each and every day. In 2019, the hospital opened a behavioral health crisis center and 24 bed inpatient unit. Wednesday's announcement of a $5 million investment will take things a step further. The Connor Child Health Pavilion will make behavioral and mental health checks part of the routine. This is not a donation or a gift. It's an investment in Dayton. The program will provide counseling and therapy with prevention, early detection, and intervention as key. The hospital is hoping this will become a national prototype, transforming care across the country to focus on mental wellness. The $5 million investment is the second largest philanthropic investment that Dayton Children's has received. Reporting in Dayton, Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.